What's up witches, wizards, and statutes of secrecy task force members? Welcome back to Cooper's Charms. Today we need to start playing the first year at Hogwarts brilliant event. It does end tomorrow. Will I ever learn and not put myself in this situation ever again? Probably not. It's probably gonna happen like all the time. But anyway, we're here. We're gonna play. And since I have been, I have been playing a little bit of the event. I have the first task list done. I just haven't claimed any of the rewards. And I have been returning foundables. But since we've been playing, I did screen record the very first conversation that we have between Hermione and Constance, which says, Constance, we've gotten reports of new surge behavior. And again, it is modifying the calamity. But it's different this time. This surge feels almost benign. Benign? Yes, it seems to be centered almost entirely around memories of Diagon Alley and shopping for school. First year memories. Ah, I remember those days. So exciting. Yes, but I'll remind you that this is the calamity and everything must be returned. Even objects that aren't dangerous are important. And to be honest, something about this particular surge is nagging at me, but I can't quite put my finger on what it is. Will we learn what this is? I don't know. Because again, the dialogue usually ends up disappointing me every time. So before we start walking around and playing and, you know, completing all these task lists, let's go ahead and collect all of the rewards for task list number one, just because we need to get off of step number one. Now we need to use master notes on two potions, brew four potions, and collect two Gringotts fragments by using brilliant first year at Hogwarts Runestone. So I could actually do that here. Since it is crunch time, I am going to uh, rent it a cauldron and put some potions in there. And I'm gonna put some master notes on here, but I will use coins to finish some of these to get moving. But we do have some time to kill where I need to collect two Gringotts fragments by using brilliant first year at Hogwarts Runestones. So I'm gonna do that first, but while I'm at it, I'm gonna collect this powdered dragon claw here and do a couple fortress battles. Be right back. Okay, we got one Gringot facade frown foundable. Oh my gosh, I can't talk, I promise. All right, no luck on attempt number two. All right, attempt number three, we got the second facade fragment that we needed for step number two. So let's go ahead and collect that dark detector and the brew four potions. Honestly, I know this is gonna make some people cringe. I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm gonna finish some of these potions with coins. Don't worry, I do always put the master notes on before completing them with coins. <laughs> All right, so I only had to do that to three of my extended yellow potions, so it only cost me about 27 gold, which is fine. I just wanna move on from this task list because we don't have too terribly long. I do have maybe some plans to go out tonight, so we need to get working. Okay, 10 brilliant goblin foundables. This is where we need to start walking. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a Barufio Brain Elixir on because we also need to put that on two times, which means the next one I can put on is in 35 minutes. So hopefully we can find all 10 in 35 minutes. And then we also need to collect, what is it? 3000 Wizarding XP, which should be pretty quick considering I have a Barufio Brain Elixir on. So let's go ahead and check this foundable real fast. Ooh, this is the last one I need actually to place this image, which I'm not going to because I know in task list number four four I think it is you need to place five images or four images or a number of images there we go we got the monster book of monsters and that's ready to go to place but I'm not going to also we need to level up a couple of times from collecting task rewards from step one and step two so this is gonna be a minute Thank you, baby. you guys it's only been about 10-15 minutes and I put my mask on because a lot more people are starting to walk by but there's nobody around at the moment I just want to be safe but I've only seen one goblin but we got ourselves a time turner I did put a potion on because the potions are so much more effective since SOS training I love it we didn't get it there but oh and it departed well dang it oh well this is where we're at we're still sitting on well I guess we can collect the 3000 wizarding XP earned Still waiting for our Barufio Brain Elixir to be done so we can pop out another one, but still have only seen one goblin. Everything has been monster book, monster book, monster book, and it's kind of disheartening. Ooh, is this gonna be one? Oh, yes, okay, we got Bagrod here, perfect. 
All right, bog rods have been, well, with my potion I should be able to get them first try, but between bog rod and the Monster Book of Monsters, they've been really difficult to return without potions. So <laughs> it's been a little bit frustrating, just a little, just a little. So that makes two goblins, eight to go. So thankfully the goblins have started to come out and play a little bit more. So this is, should be our last bog rod, I believe. It's also the last bog rod I need to place in my registry. Actually, is this the last one? It might be the second to last one. There's also a lot of Death Eaters out right now, and that is because it is the full moon. And if you're ever wondering when the full moon is, you can always take a look at Orange Wizard's graphics for the month event breakdown. Very handy. Oh my gosh, you guys, I take that back. I am finding nothing but Monster Book of Monsters and I just need one more. I've been wandering around for 10 minutes trying to find Zinkin Bagrod. All right guys, finally we got the last Bagrod that we need. Oh, it took forever and it took a cluster of brilliance for me to be able to find it because everything I was clicking on was Monster Book of Monsters, Monster Book of Monsters. But yay, we got Bagrod. Also, I'm going to move the camera because I don't want to hold it like this. All right, you guys, the last thing that I need to do for this task is to also place a Barufio Brain Elixir on. So let's go ahead and pop that on real quick. And then we can move on to step number, what number are we on? Step number four. All right, so let's collect all that. Still no fragment. Oh yeah, this was the one that we had five fragments instead of six, right? Anyway, complete five wizarding challenges with three teammates, place five brilliant Diagon Alley images in the registry and earn 5,000 wizarding XP from wizarding challenges. Ooh, we need to place five of them. There's only five total. So, man, I'm gonna have to do a lot of wizarding challenges. Let's get to it. All right, you guys, I just got done hanging out with a bunch of friends. So naturally I didn't really progress any further into the game because of that. But right now I need to place one of the foundables right now and the reason being is because we have a total of five foundables for this brilliant event and it wants me to place five brilliant Dra diagon alley page images in the registry but the problem is is that i don't get one of them until after i've done this so that just means that i need to replace one of the images so the best one to do is going to be our fortress foundable because you only need three of them so we're gonna go ahead and place that image here real quick and then i'm gonna do a couple more battles so that i can finally move on to step number well the bonus assignments <laughs> step number five just kidding anyway so let's see what the facade has to tell us my grandfather loves to tell the story of how after the iron-bellied dragon was released inside Gringotts, we had to change the family vault location because ours was destroyed by the dragon Detrius. Detritus. Detritus? I don't know what that word was. Well, we had an iron belly in the last event and an iron belly in this event. I don't know if that means anything, but... All right, I'm gonna do a couple more fortress battles so that I can replace that image. And then I also do have two port keys already unlocked so that I can also place the t uh, shopping list, I think it was. Um, we can go ahead and place that as well. So we'll see you in a few. I tried to do a couple of battles and out of the like five rune stones that I had, I only got one fragment. So I need to place some more images so that I can get more family XP, so I can get more rune stones, so I can place more images. Point being is we're gonna place some more images and see what's going on. All right, so let's go ahead and place Bagarad, see what he has to say or what his fragment has to say. I'm clicking it and it's not working. Okay, I guess we're starting with the Monster Book of Monsters. See, Constance says, those monster books, I loathe them. Mine bit me once, took a chunk out of my arm. Right there, see? Did it when I wasn't looking. School's bad enough. You don't need to add ravenous textbooks into the mix, do you? Oh, Constance. Well, let's see if Bogrod works now. No, no, okay. It's still, oh, there we go. Okay, finally, we got him. Let's see. Do you want a bit of scandal? I knew a girl at Hogwarts, Bethany Swordbane, who was obsessed with goblins. She would make me go to Gringotts with her and we would stand in the lobby for hours while she ogled. It was uncomfortable. 
All right, well that didn't get me any rune stones. So I guess we're gonna move on to our poor keys and see if we can get some brilliant family XP from that. Also, we should also be able to place another image after all of this. So I'm just gonna run through these super quick. All right, that got me two more rune stones and we can place the shopping list. So let's go ahead and place that and see what it says. Why? Just why? Oh, I remember that list. I think I still have the pointed hat we bought somewhere. This really is bringing back memories. Interesting. Remind me, where did the calamity come in on that one? All right, you guys, it felt like it took forever for me to be able to get this last image placed, but ta-da, we're gonna replace that again. And now we should be able to collect all of the rewards for step number four and collect that last fragment all those data books as well and on to the bonus assignments okay let's go ahead and place that last image see what is said if anything about the calamity is learned probably not but let's go my mom wouldn't buy me a new cauldron no she gave me my brother's old used one and bought him a new one and he was absolutely rubbish at potions well there you go there you have it folks nothing about the calamity nothing Oh wait, we have more dialogue. Let's see if anything relates to the calamity. We've made quite a lot of good headway against this surge. The team have done well, and I must say, it's one of the more delightful threats to wizarding kind we've ever come across. It has jogged the memory, hasn't it? Still, it has been so very, very different. How? How, Hermione? How has it been different? I wonder if there is more to this. There has to be. Okay, again, everything we're doing is just a waste of time because nothing is about the calamity. We're learning nothing about the calamity. What is the point of these brilliant events? There are no, there's no point to brilliant events anymore. Nothing, zilt, nada. <sighs> All right, you guys, I'm gonna go complete the bonus assignments on my own. It's probably gonna take me forever to complete it, so. It is what it is. That's what I get for leaving it to the last minute. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're not quite as disappointed as I am in the dialogue, but you probably are. So, and I really have nothing more to say about it other than rubbish. Let me know in the comment section below if you feel the same way or if you still find enjoyment out of these brilliant events, but I just, I can't find any enjoyment out of this. The only enjoyment I get out of it is completing it placing all of the images so that it looks nice. Other than that, what's the point? Anyway, don't forget to give this video a like if you found anything in here entertaining or maybe you feel the same way about the brilliant events that I do. But anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.